Wollman Rink, the famous ice rink located in Central Park, has been around since the 1950s. However, in 1980, Donald Trump offered to help pay for the renovation and in the end got full ability to operate the rink. In 2021, four years after Trump's presidency, New Yorkers are expressing their frustration with his leadership by wanting to shut down one of New York City's most iconic landmarks. Ice skaters were heartbroken and throughout this interview, I talked with one of the skaters who fought for the place she'd been skating for years to stay open and in the end succeeded. Um, when you heard that it was closing, like, how did you react? How did you feel, of course, because you've always been skating there for so long? Uh, we were all so upset. We were, like, absolutely shocked, especially because this kind of, like, came out of, like, nowhere. Um, we just assumed that we would ha be having, like, a regular skating season. And then all of a sudden they were like, oh, we're closing in two days. And I think especially because we, we are seeing the three of us who um, started the position, the petition are all seniors. Um, and like, obviously so many things just for everybody, but I think especially for like the sen graduating seniors of this year and last year has been taken away. Like we're not, we're probably not going to have prom, like graduation is going to be different. And like senior skating season, you, there's like a lot of privileges. Like you're supposed to have like a whole big thing at the, at the end of your ice show. Um, and especially because we've all been skating there since we were younger, it's like very sentimental. So we were all very upset. Um, and immediately we like created this petition and we called everybody and reposted it all over social media. Like I was like annoyingly harassing all my friends. I was like, you have to post this. They're like, no, I'm like, no, like you have to. Um, we also stood in line on Sat. The we found out Friday that it would be closing Sunday. This was that short of a notice. Yeah, like it was like fine. Were they just like? They just said because de Blasio wants to like cut off everything that's affiliated to Trump. Like it was very, it's not like they're like, okay, you have an extra two weeks. They're like, no, no, no. Like this is, this is the end. So Saturday I spent 10 hours at the rank. Um, we like printed out our petition on QR codes on like piece of paper. And we like harassed all the people who were like, who all the tourists waiting in line at the skate rental. We were like, you have to sign this. Half of them didn't speak English and like just signed it. Um, and it was really cool. Like a, a lot of um, the people, I was going through like the list of all the signatures and some of them were from Australia, from Costa Rica, Norway, which was so cool because like, like I created the petition and like met like made, got like so world spread. Yeah. Um, especially because I'm sure like half those people hadn't even like heard about Woman Ring, but like they mm -hmm. could see that I guess through like Facebook or whatever, like through friends that it's such like an important cause to so many people. I had a lot of messages on the petition and a lot of people like reached out to me through DM and stuff like that on Instagram. And they were like adults and they're like, we used to skate here when we were like four years old. Like my kids grew up there. Um, lots of really nice messages from like really random strangers who like have no affiliation with the rink, but like just didn't want to see it be shut down. So obviously with the rink being kept open, do you like, you obviously must be like satisfied or like really proud of yourself? Mm. Um, all right, so I was saying, um, oh, so yeah, I mean, I was very close with the people before, but it's definitely brought me a lot closer to a lot of the staff at the rink and a lot of the administration that were sort of behind the scenes. Um, and they've been like so kind and so thankful and like ex express their appreciation. I mean, for me, it's just like, it was sort of no question because it's like, I just love the rink and I love skating, but for them, it's like their jobs, um, which I kind of really didn't understand like the severity of it until after. Um, and when we found out, I was actually the first person to find out that the rink had stayed open. Um, and we were all at the rink and they had, clo the managers closed it down a few hours early on the last evening. So we could have like a fake graduation for the seniors. Um, and it was ending and everyone was leaving. And I suddenly found out and I ran inside and like grabbed one of the managers who I had literally never talked to until like 48 hours before. But then we like suddenly became best friends overnight. And I was like, you have to read this. And we had all been crying because we were really sad that it was closing. And then all of a sudden, I wish there's some type of video like I wish we took the surveillance camera footage or something but everybody started crying and jumping up and down like tears of joy it was so emotional like a very movie moment mm -hmm. um but that just made me so like I've never been so proud of me and like anyone else 
to be able to do something so like quickly in 48 hours because I mean I didn't really think we'd get over like 50 signatures and we got like 6,660 yeah. mm-hmm. and it got viewed our petition got viewed over 150,000 times which yeah. is like insane because I literally made it on change.org which is like a free website that I didn't even know how to use so like I didn't really think it would have this big effect but like I guess it did which is really sick 